Okay, folks, we back with more scripted football. I told everybody earlier it's going to be a close game. Uh, we had uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were whipping them boys' ass. Uh, they were up by 20, 24 points. And uh, Buffalo had come back. They just sacked little Tommy Brady over there after he just made an unbelievable play. All of a sudden, Tom Brady is like uh, Bo Jackson out there. You can't take his ass down. And, uh, and, and Bo Jackson, they can throw the ball like Mike Vick. Uh, it's just unbelievable how scripted this shit is. People can't even leave their TV for a minute because they might just miss this bomb going over here. And uh, people don't want to listen to me. I've been telling them that the boy, uh, these boys, uh, we've been working on this for a while now. Uh, it's all scripted. It's all rigged. It's your mantra. Like my man over there, uh, Sports Effects, was saying. He'll tell you about it. He knows a lot more about it than Coach Scrib. I just know it's scripted and rigged and fixed. And uh, and it's just crazy. Oh, 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 Alan was hurt over there. That tipped him up with some duct tape. And now this boy's just fine. He running like nothing wrong with him. Had the ball that holding it like a loaf of bread out there. Before someone could knock the ball out of his hand. You, when, you, when, you, when you're little out here, the little kid watching this, when you're running with the ball down the field, you want to switch the ball to the side of your hand where it's facing the 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 goal the, the sideline boy. You can't be running down the field with the ball out there on your hand like that. Someone come around here and knock it right out of your hand. But since this is scripted football, we already know that that ain't gonna happen. And uh, they just can't get that big guy to get going over there. Yeah, he's a big man, and uh, they tackle him correctly. But when Gronk catches the ball, they don't tackle him correctly over there. And look at the bomb boat over there with Cincinnati. Cincinnati was getting their ass kicked over there but real bad over there. And now it's a tie ball game. We're going to have a lot of tie ball games in this game. Today's going to be a blowout and tie out. I can't wait to see this treat coming on tonight with Green Bay and Chicago. You won't really see some scripting going on on them games out there. And uh, little Tommy Brady, he's pointing his fingers, doing snap dance. That boy lost a tooth on the damn game. What? <laughs> Quiet down front that man's tooth on the field over there. Man lost his tooth. We got to go home and eat some sandwiches later on with one tooth missing, boy. I'll tell you. Okay, we back with more scripted football. Now, I'm telling everybody. It's going to be a close game. Uh, Josh Allen is a really good ball play over there, really. It's a damn shame that uh, that uh, it's scripted because uh, in reality, it would be a lot more points in this game. It would be like 38 to 35. Look at him running around there. And he was throwing it to the ground over there. Um, I think one of the contact lenses had fallen out of his head. And uh, he didn't see that over there. He just threw it right to the ground. Maybe that little bird or something over there. He was like it over there. He liked to collect birds over there. He feeds them outside the house over there. It damn ridiculous. Look at that score. Oh my goodness. 48 to 9. 24. I picked Cleveland to win. I told you. The Steelers are going to probably make the playoffs. Norman's just made the Jets look like they lost a really bad over there. Tennessee, no touchdown on Jacksonville. Here we go. No holding over there. <laughs> well, about five guys on that team over there were holding. Now, Beasley can't get open all of a sudden. All of a sudden, they get real tight on them. And uh, they got the two tight end formation over there they were using earlier. And they went back to the, the single tight end where they have the other fella. He can't even pick up a yard on the ground. A man, six foot eight and 265 pound man that can't. Uh, can't run a man over that uh, 100 pounds lighter than him. No, uh, don't take any of this stuff seriously, folks. I've been trying to tell everybody it's scripted and fixed. We do this just for fun times. We we'll go out here every Saturday and Sundays and we expose this shit. But people are losing their ass off betting on these games, thinking this shit legit. They got all these damn channels out here trying to rebuttal all the channels out there uh, that are exposing the NFL. My man Lobo over there exposing the NFL. I saw some guy trying to uh, talk shit about him. I had to go over there and sort him out real quick. And uh, and he had blocked me on his channel because I exposed him so bad. He only has like 200 subscribers over there. And he was talking shit about my boy Truth Be Told and uh, my man Lobo. And I like both of them young fellas. They're good people over there. 
And I, I just enjoy listening to them, and they, they're really good, and they're honest, and they're, they're telling you about what's going on because they don't want you to lose your damn money. And they're just good people over there. I could tell Coach Cook, we know him what the hell going on out there. I've been telling him for years, and nobody want to listen to me. And now we got a, I got a nice little team going on. I'm happy to be part of this community, and I'm happy to be over there to help people. The craziness I'm watching. He overthrew the ball. No flag on the play over there. Watch right here. This is the pressure. You're gonna go ahead and here we go. Go more. You see the middle fields. They just uh, they do this all the time. You got a guy wide open. Diggs is a hell of a ball player. He uses that magnetic gloves too. Boy, look at the size of that boy's nose. They must have a size 22 helmet just to fit that boy's head so he can get around that nose of his. Oh boy, it is funny over there. Let me see some here. Let me do a little draw play and then act like we're going to throw a draw play. That boy almost intercepted the ball by accident. He had to let the ball go and let him catch it. Did you see that? On scripted football day, he almost made a play on the damn ball over there. He didn't know it was real for a second. He said, oh my goodness, I almost picked the ball up. I had to let the boy catch the ball. They won't show that again, I guarantee you. Now you're going to get a, a little pass here, right here. And then all of a sudden, they just uh, can't break tackles anymore. They're going to put that drama on you. we got to get close enough to kick an extra point, uh, uh, a field goal over there, so we can tie this ball game up. And uh, the one boy's looking down there while he was playing football for his boy's tooth over there. Got blood on his shoe there. Uh, boy lost his tooth while he was playing earlier. And uh, they're going out to Subway after that, where just a small up was that, that juicy. They go, uh, they go to the Chicago Subway, where they open 24 hours a day over there to get themselves a sub after the ball game. And uh, the boy had lost his two. So when he bites the sandwich, he's going to have a big old gap in the middle there with a piece of bread stuck in the middle of that gap over there. So they're trying to find a two and, and tie the ball game up. They're doing a lot of work over there. Uh, it's a lot of work to even catch the ball, but when you're looking down on the field for a little baby too, <laughs> oh boy, you're going to have a problem there. Now, number 12 and number 13 been setting records all day. Uh, Mikey Evans over there, that boy looks like he's sleeping. Are they smoking weed on the sideline over there? <laughs> Good Lord, he don't even blink his eyes, that poor fella. I don't know what's wrong with these people not blinking their eyes. There you go, boy. Run, boy. Run like he was going for dinner time. He's got 22 brothers and sisters over there, so when that bell rings for dinner time, he had the whole ass over there, or we won't even get a damn pee on the plate. Look how slow he is. You can, you can, time, his, you can time this boy with a sundial over there. Boy, I let me tell you. Here we go. Don't you worry, folks. What a story did that fell over there wearing a tag on the shirt there. He got a big old X on his, on his, that's where they try to throw the ball to him sometimes. The people on the sideline are playing better defense than the ones that are on the damn field out there. Even they don't script the football day. Coach, this is amazing. I mean, the Tampa Bay was just crushing them. I can't believe it just that they come back like this, Buffalo. And Josh was hurt. I told you, boy, it's scripted. Oh, boy, look at that carrot top, son. Ha! <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they make it close like that because, uh, like I've been telling you, if they don't keep the ball games like this, we would get more, uh, ice skating would get more uh, more ratings than NFL. Look at this man here. He's going to act like he's going to throw the football on fake football day uh, when he's 10 yards after he passed the line of scrimmage. And the other fellow was acting like, it was gonna act like he was actually going to throw the ball. Watch how far he is behind the line of scrimmage when he jukes him. Here we go. He already passed the line of scrimmage here. And that guy like, oh, wait a minute, he might throw the football over there. There you go. Oh, wait a minute here. His knee down there. Right at the two-yard line, three-yard line. But it's third and two. Now, uh, the 28 second, this poor boy thinks they put this shit real. He like, oh, my God, how the hell can we lose this game? Well, it's rigged and scripted, son. It's all about the points, too. Everybody was betting the under on this game here. Look at that touchdown pass. Offensive pass interference, defensive pass interference. 
boy, boy they, they were tying each other up like they were doing that dancing. They just don't believe him, put throwing penalties, do they? Watch the boy here. Right over there, that's a holding right there. No no penalty called, of course. If that was break, boy, they would have threw five penalties on that play there. Josh can't believe it. He's like, what the hell going on out there? This is script of football day. He supposed to have a pass interference call on that boy. We planned that shit earlier this week. That was what that's why I threw it to him. The flag supposed to come out there. Like I said, there's a couple new refs out there. They learning the job. They didn't they think a shit straight. Whoa, we almost missed that one. Thank God for that damn magnet, boy. I told you, I was telling my boys earlier, this game's gonna be a, a bomb burner. I'm gonna have an overtime games in uh this week. And uh Buffalo uh gonna have to try to win this game because if the playoffs was to start today. Uh, believe it or not, the Buffalo Bills would lose, wouldn't be in the playoffs if, if, if it was a start today. They need to win this ball game, and uh, Tampa Bay uh, probably going to let them do it. You can just flip a coin here, but I already won on the over because uh, I already picked it that way. I never mess with that other stuff, Dale. I tell my friends, uh, to, to pick the over and unders, you're better off with that. You can't really know who's going to win these damn games. They change the mid they change in the middle of the damn game uh who they decide who decide to win they make a phone call that's why them boys are wearing uh earpiece in the ear over there the rest they're gonna let them know who they want to win the ball game once all the bets are in he has 106 wins and one loss when leading by 21 points the last time he lost it was to buffalo i told you this shit is so scripted boy you can't even write it better than this the people that write this like myself uh, I was thinking about doing that, honestly, is write children's fiction books because uh, it's so scripted. Watch this here. No, no, no. Not today, boys. We're going overtime. He almost dropped the damn ball over there. That boy kicked the ball, so had some more spin on the ball. It, was, uh, it looked like Andre Agassi kicks her over there. Look at this here. 109 yards rushing the ball on 17 touches. Wow. 24 to 3 at halftime. And they scored 24 unanswered points. The Steelers did the same thing against Minnesota. They scored three touchdowns in less than 13 minutes. And Buffalo it did a, a remarkable job keeping this game scripted and close like that. So uh, it's unbelievable. But uh, you can flip a coin if you uh, to, to decide who's going to win this ball game. I still going to go with the edge over Buffalo. I picked Buffalo to win the ball game today. I said Tommy Brady was going to break all the records early in the game and get the points all out of the way. And then we're going to have a little script going on here. And then uh, the Buffalo Bills are going to win by a field goal or some shady call. Where they should have had a touchdown in the end zone there. That ball was being held over there. And they can't have no uh, nothing, nothing going on there on scripted football. They, they have that kind of call. Unless the team that receives a kickoff scores a touchdown on that drive. Or during that drive, the defense has a score of their own. Either a touchdown or a safety. Fourth quarter timing rules. Two timeouts for each team. No coaches challenges. All stoppages are upstairs. That's how we pay you, boy. <laughs> no coaching challenges. All to the side upstairs. He goes, he's going to go with tails and it's going to be heads. Oh, you won, boy. They let you do that. That was a good call there, Josh. I take that boy gamble on me. He's lucky today. He got himself hurt over there. He's back out there with some duct tape on. I hope they find out boys tooth over there because they wanted to go to that subway in Chicago. Well, just Juicy was at. <laughs> okay, we're back again. It's overtime, and I'm with Coach Script. And, um, Coach, who did you, um, who you were saying that you think that Buffalo's going to win? Um, they just showed the stat of, uh, Tom Brady is 106 and 1 when he's up by 21 points or more. Uh, he's only lost one game, and it was to Buffalo. But, yeah, boy, that, that's how they got it scripted. That's why they're going to lose again. I picked it at the beginning of the game. I thought Buffalo, uh, like I said, if Buffalo don't win this game, they won't even be in the playoffs because uh, 
this game right here, if the playoffs was to start today and Buffalo loses, they would be out of the playoffs. And you gotta have the, the main people, the new faces in the NFL, quarterback-wise, uh, in there from two, the class of 2018. Now, Lamar is gonna win the Super Bowl, and so is Josh Allen. And then uh, Patrick Mahomes will win himself about two more Super Bowls, but uh, nothing real huge. Uh, Kansas City, uh, Andy Reid is just not that good of a coach. Uh, he good offensive coach, but the, he does. Uh, he always had shitty defensive teams. Even when he had the Eagles, they uh, had a great defensive coordinator. And uh, old Buddy Ryan over there had them boys playing defense back in the day. He uh, he even cut Chris Carter for God's sakes. Chris Carter, God bless him. He stopped uh, drinking the hooch, and uh, he uh, he don't drink no more hooch now. And he's a damn good uh, man, and uh, straightened his life out. He's a good, uh, good fella. I met old Mr. Carter. He's a very, 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 very nice man. Uh, very polite. And he said to me, Coach Griff, boy, you, you, you over there calling these boys out on the football. I said, yeah, Chris, you know they be playing. Uh, you should have two Super Bowl rings, boy. They ripped you off. You were supposed to go over there with the Raiders, with Tim Brown and, uh, and Jerry, and you didn't want to go over there. You wanted to stay in Minnesota. Because they got old Dante over there, Dante Culpepper, and you were teaching Randy Moss how to play the position. And uh, Randy Moss, in my opinion, one of the best receivers I've seen play the game of football. Even if it be scripted, look at it, y'all. This is so bad. Now get ready for a turnover, folks. Someone's going to drop that damn ball on the ground, and one of these big fellas going to jump on it. That's how they do business over there. It would be funny as hell if they tied the ball game up. They would really get my damn script all messed up, but uh, it could happen. But uh, Tommy Brady, that safety over there to the right, on the on top by number 20 there, over on the hash mark over there, he didn't even right, he waited for him. He waited for him to get over there, and then we're going to uh, put that ball in the middle of the field because the safety is going to be double teaming that receiver over there. Mike Evans is eating that ass up over there. And then you got Goodwin. And then with Goodwin and Evans and then Gronk, it's just too much. And if you was to run a double uh, tight end set, you would have Bray and Gronk and even Howard over there. Been playing some damn good ball over there at tight end position. Now we're going to get a first down here. <laughs> now, mo most of the time, the way we're doing this here is that when we're playing defense, we pull the boy over to make the first down. We do that, but this time the one fell over there, he didn't know that they were playing scripted football, and he's pushing backwards, and the other fellas are all pulling, and he's pushing, and the guys, yeah, look at his face over there. They're like, what the hell are you doing, boy? You got to pull the boy over there to get that first down. You're pushing them backwards and shit. You can't be pushing them backwards. You got to pull them forward. The spot of that ball is horrible. He was short by six inches. Even with them pushing and pulling on him. Uh, good news, folks. Uh, they did find that boy's tooth over there that he lost earlier. Look at here. Watch here. The, 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 the Emmons doesn't know it's fake football. The other fellow over there don't they know it's fake football. Watch the play he makes on this boy here. Now, that's how you play linebacker at, the, at any level. You go in there and you don't you put your head up. Don't put your head down. You put your head up and you hit that song bitch right behind the line like that. Boom! And he, he, once again that damn leg tackle. They do the shoe tackle over there and he was booty grabbing again. But if he wasn't booty grabbing and doing shoe tackling over there, he would have had that boy shot uh, stopped for about two yard loss behind the line scrimmage over there. Now. Feels pretty Little Tommy Brady is all going to get the calls. His pops has $3.1 billion, and when you got that kind of money, you're going to get calls, you're going to get Super Bowl rings, you're going to get your player a new tooth when they lose it. Even the other guy's team, you'll buy him a new tooth. But they found a the boy's tooth over there, and uh, he didn't make that first down. You can see where the boy over there, where the, the, the ref's foot is to the right. He was just inside there. It was about five, six inches short. And uh, and I would not be surprised if they uh, they turn it around here and uh, flip it on back here and make it fold down. 
to keep this ball, this game a little closer than it will be because uh, Tampa Bay will march on down the field there and we're going to have to really turn that damn magnet up for that boy to make that extra point. Look at this crew of, of grifters on the front there. Tony Romo, Jim Nance, Wilson, and that other fella, all professional grifters. They've been grifting for years. They sell grifter shirts. They sell grifter candies. They got grifter shoes. And they'll tell you, and, and, and Romo will tell you exactly what the hell going to happen out there. They had to have a little talking with them because they're telling everybody what the hell going on. Oh, yep, yeah, they gave the ball there. They gave him a first down, even though he was short. Look at the boy's head out, boy. Look at him. Now, they stop him right there. Now, watch what, watch what I'm saying here. See his right foot. He's right there before the first down marker. But on scripted football day, you're going to get that first down. Now, watch this safety here in the middle of the field. We're going to go all the way over there. You turn around, boy, so you can get that damn flag. I told you. We're paying good money for them damn flags to run around over there. Oh my God, the damn storm's knocking my TV out. Oh Lord Jesus, not the cable. Don't not, oh please ring. Not doing scripted football day. Oh Lord, this is bad. It is pulling down rain so bad out there, the cable, the last been going off. And I know I paid my damn light bill. $250 it cost to run electricity over here in Florida. Oh, come on. Come on now. He was doing a hug on the man. Now, if you're a receiver, even playing high school football or at college, and you've got a ball that's underthrown to you, you want to turn around and hug the man so the other boy can get a, call, or get, get a penalty caught on him. And then after that buffoonery that this ran, they run the same damn play they've been running for about 10 times in this game already. Now, Brady is going to go down the field on him in the middle of the field with Gronk because that safety is cheating over there and trying to do the double team on Mike Evans. If you're watching on the top there, the screen ain't working because there ain't nobody blocking, and then it's still shoe tackling. They try to get that boy shoe again. They just don't know how to tackle for some reason. Now here go, I said the middle field, but uh, that was down there, there's Gronk. Gronk, nobody can catch Gronk. Boy, when he runs, it's like watching a damn elephant run, boy. This is really bad. I mean, when he's running, you can see how slow he is. The other players on defense got to run backwards so they can just run forward with him. Oh, boy. This is some scripted shit is what this is, boys. Look at this fella. He thinks it's real. Third and three. He's going to get a first down here. Defense is all the way down now, and even uh, even old Homo, I mean Romo, was sitting there telling him the Braves gonna get him in field goal range. But no, 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 we gonna score a touchdown on this scripted play because nobody can play defense over there. So uh, I guess the I guess they don't want Buffalo to go to the playoffs. There's Tommy Brady's daddy, three point one billion dollars. That's what three point one billion dollars look like, boys. This shit is scripted. It's faking and Campbell's chicken noodle soup over there, boys. It's one of the most scripted uh, sports in the history of uh, sports making. Baseball's right up there with it, but uh, baseball's tough to know about because they they do it by pitching. The man is 106 and one when he lose, uh, when he's up by 21 touchdowns. Look at how well all of a sudden the man just can't run anymore. He wobbling like a damn duck. Watch this boy here try to tackle here. Now, this is one of the best linebackers in football. Watch him. Watch him here. Let me get that booty. Oh, I was so close to getting the booty. He was trying to boot booty tackling. Look at him. Oh, he was just looking on the ground watching the booty run by him. These boys are something with that booty tackling. Tom Brady was like, you stay away from my man's booty there. Look at Tommy B. Tommy B. Senior. Son of a bitch is worth $3.1 billion and nobody in sports talks about how rich his daddy is. And there ain't nobody in any time that sports that I've ever seen in all the days that I've been watching sports for over 90 years that their pops is worth $3.1 billion. Now, for all you Dallas Cowboy fans out there, I'm sorry to tell you, you're probably going to get, uh, it'll be next year you win the Super Bowl. But this year, 
It ain't gonna look too good for you because Tampa Bay is on a mission. They even got the 33 Mason number up there. Making sure you know about that. Josh Allen don't know what script is. The boy's like, what the hell going on out there? Look at this grifter. He's like, yeah, my dad would uh, had to put a little extra money on these refs. They just don't call them good games. And that other fella can't tackle worth a shit. This is sad. And uh, this man's 40-something years old and looks like he's 12. That damn adrenaline ain't no joke over there, boy. They even got a robot and I'll let you know about it. Well... It was a nice time spending with you folks out there, but just know that this shit is scripted and rigged, and don't get upset about it, please. We'll we'll come back and talk to you some more.